everybody finding that in their notebooks? So on item 12, you've got a little bit of instructions that we're going to talk through those. So what's essential for those of you that are with us here today, and that's all of you, uh, is the item bank. Your answers to fill in the blanks on pages 13 and 14 are all here in your item bank. These are all items that you previously located as either coming from the new world or coming from the old world in Columbian Exchange Part 1. What you are going to do today is learn about the, the consequences of some of those things, some of those elements of the Columbian Exchange, diseases, plants, animals. And that's going to help us understand important details for one of our objectives, and that is being able to explain the consequences of globalization. You are going to match items from the item bank on page 12 to the correct blanks on page 13 and 14. Now, 13 and 14 are different categories. That doesn't matter as much now, but you should already kind of start thinking about these things uh, in terms of where they came from and where they went. So page 13 is all about things that came to the new world from the old world. Now it's kind of the opposite of what you did in Columbian Exchange Part 1. Page 14 is things that came to the old world from the new world. What you have on pages 13 and 14 are some clues some descriptions of those things that will help you identify the item that goes in the blank. You're going to use those clues to create search terms. You can use Google, you can use another search engine. I found out Bing is also blocked for you because Bing has an artificial intelligence tie-in. Um, so Google searches are probably what you guys are going to use. This does require some trial and error. Even if I was able to let you use artificial intelligence, it can still require a lot of trial and error. So we're going to go through um, a couple of examples to help you find strategies for creating search terms out of the items or out of the clues on pages 13 and 14. Also, you are not using every term from the item bank. Not all items will be used. Because of that, it is important that you cross out items you have used in the item bank so that you can work easier and faster. Right? You don't have to consider those items a second time. Now, I can tell some of you already have that look on your face that's like, yeah, dummy, we know about that. And lots of you do. Uh, but some of you I've seen have not used that strategy in the past, um, and I want you to use it to make your life easier. All right, once we finish with the examples, you may work with the students at your assigned group of desks. Okay, if you're all by yourself, let you move and go work with somebody else until the exit slip. I hope you guys will work together on these, but make sure that you are all doing all of the work and not dividing this up and then sharing answers later. That will get you a zero. So no sharing, no cheating. Let's get to our examples. We're going to start with the first blank and the first set of clues at the top of page 13. We harm ecosystems by crowding out species some of which are at risk of extinction. More positively, I also produce food and help other organisms produce food too. So we've got some important things. We have crowding out and we have producing food. Now, we could be, could we be a plant that does this, that crowds out species and helps produce food? 
Sure, could definitely be that, right? Like, I mean, this is the reason farmers spray all kinds of herbicides on their crops. Not that, they're, not that corn or in soybeans are at risk of extinction, but, right, I mean, you don't want things to be crowded out by weed species. Could animals crowd out other species and also help us produce food? <clears throat> sure, I mean, you guys, bird day. Oh, man, I did not actually think bird day was going to be useful any other time but bird day. Right? But birds, right? all that pooping that they do, right? fertilizes things. Okay? Um, there are some birds that crowd out species, like the European starling, for example. Okay? But they also poop a lot, right? a lot, a lot. So let's, let's start with animals, right? Because Bree, you looked a little skeptical that it was going to be plants to begin with. So we're just going to go with your gut instinct. Um, so an animal crowd out species, because crowding out sounds like kind of an important thing to me. And it would even if I hadn't written the question, in case you're wondering. Now, one of the things that they probably stopped teaching students how to do when searching for things, because search algorithms got better, is they forgot, or they stopped teaching you about something called, I think, Boolean modifiers. Yeah. And I'm not doing this to show off, but I'm, we could be talking about producing food, food production, produce food. So we have lots of things that we could be talking about. When you have those kinds of words, you want to type in kind of as much of the word as you can before things start getting different, which for production, produce, producing, it stops at the C, P-R-O-D-U-C, and then you put an asterisk, and that will help you. Now, that's a lot of different things. So let's look through our options. Somebody stop me when you see something that seems like it could be specific enough to actually help us. Just say stop when it's time to stop. Is there a reason maybe we should have stopped at cows, chickens, and such? Maybe not the chickens, but cows? If you think back to your item bank, one of the things that we could be talking about is livestock, right? which would be cattle or cows. We could, could look at that. All right. That could be one of our options. But when we think about cows, are cows things that produce? Produce food and help other organisms produce food, or do they mostly just produce food? Yeah, they mostly just produce food. That's their key thing. We kill them and we eat them. We make things from their milk. We drink their milk. Okay. So it could be, could be cows. And if you put livestock there, that would be fine. But I will tell you, because this is the part about me helping you get started, that eventually you would have to rule out cows. Because cows go somewhere else, right? The livestock answer from your item bank goes somewhere else. Okay. Answers like this, they're like way too general. So is that one. Keystone species even just sounds different. But if we're talking about the Columbian Exchange, and exchanges that were transformational, like something that talks about species that changed the world right, could be really important. Now, you don't have to read all of these. I don't want you to. Right? That is not the point. I want you to skim through, find the information you need. Right? Earthworms, not in our item bank. It's kind of cool. They like totally transformed the Americas. Right? There was nothing like earthworms. Leaves used to pile up over your head, even if you're a tall person, unlike myself. 
But then earthworms come along, they start breaking down all that stuff, totally transform the ecosystems of the Americas. Brown rat, also not on your list. European starling, that bird I talked about that poops a lot, you, you see them fly in those big clouds of birds, right? like thousands and thousands of birds long. Brown tree snake, also not on your list. Mountain pine beetle, not on your list. Sea star, wild pig, those things are on your list. Burmese python. Okay. So that's a bust. None of those things is on your list. This is the trial and error part. You could keep going through search terms or working with the people at your group of desks. You could go back to the item bank and think. All right. So we're trying to find this for animals. Oh, oh no. I'll go that far. So what are some of our other examples of animals on that list? What's that? Honeybees. Honeybees. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole lot of things on there that are not animals. As a matter of fact, another good reason to start with animals is just there aren't that many. So like you could, if they're not the right answer, you can rule them out pretty quickly. Okay. Um, yeah. If we put in honeybee, do we need to keep animal? Or do you think probably the internet knows that the honeybee is also an animal? What do you think? Dion, do you think the internet knows that a honeybee is an animal? Probably. I certainly think that you are correct. Oh, yes, Google, I meant honeybee. Of course, I meant honeybee. The problem with honeybees. This sounds promising right off the bat. Now, of course, I say right off the bat, we already did a different search and we looked through stuff and it didn't help. Okay. They're important for agriculture, but they're not so good for the environment. So this kind of sounds like a mix of good and bad, just like your clues. And as we scan through right, pollination, kind of important. And if we look at like what honeybees do, is pollinating important for agriculture? Yeah, bees fly around, other things fly around. They take pollen from one flower, take it to another flower, it produces fruit. Right? We need it for all kinds of stuff. But, and this is where control F becomes your friend again, because I don't want you guys reading all this stuff. Look at some of our words and see if they're in here. Extinction. Okay. Honeybees. And people mistakenly think that keeping honeybees or helping honeybees is somehow helping the native bees, which are at risk of extinction. If people mistakenly think that, then that probably tells us that honeybees are a risk to other species that are at risk of extinction. All right, which means the answer to your first blank is honeybees. The point of this, other than teaching you general search strategies and teaching you about the effects of the Columbian Exchange, is to teach you to be better internet searchers. Because people stopped telling you how to do this because search algorithms got better. But lots of my students would just copy and paste that whole chunk of stuff. Or in your case, since it's your notebook, 
just type it all out in a search engine. It doesn't work. You need better things. Now, for our other example, we're going to do the last one on page 14. We're going to do that one together. I am pound for pound one of the most valuable cash crops. I often sell for much more than $250 per kilogram. What would be some important words or phrases? Like, so phrases or groups of words that we might want to include in a search. Let's see, Madison, if you were in a search, this, what would be some important things you think you would pull out to put in your Google search? What's that? Most valuable cash crops? Yes, exactly. Uh, what else? Not Madison this somebody else uh let's see Devin what else would we put in there so most valuable cash crops is good what else pound for pound could be that let's let's try those things out uh, cash crop definitely is now here's another thing that we can start thinking about uh one you should have already scratched out honeybees in your item bank Second thing is, do we think a cash crop is a plant or an animal? Plant. Right? It's a crop. We have crops and we have livestock. Livestock are animals. Crops are plants. Google gives you a list stolen from, well, not stolen, but displayed from GrowCycle. As you go through, rule out things that aren't on your list. Mushrooms, microgreens, not on there. Neither are any of these other things so far. So that could be it, but that's an animal. So that one doesn't count. Insects are also animals. We know those don't count. Marijuana, not, not on our item bank either. Yeah, it's one. Yes, you may. All right. Let's see if we've got anything else that we can use. Um, should let you go there, but hold on. Miss Dana, do you mind making Twana a pass? Thank you. Because this is the trial and error part of this. We're getting like a lot of other stuff showing up in here. I'm kind of getting the same list that we got from the other site. Matter of fact, they may be based on the same source. So we kind of need to narrow things down. How could we take something out of this like so that we kind of have a better sense of what we're looking for? Like what would be the most most important part of this that would help us understand a narrower list of things from our item bank. Okay, so we could well, so we could add something. Let's, let's try that. So, it's a good idea, JC. Add before we start doing something more drastic. Okay. 
So look through your search results. Um, Quora, usually, guys, just, I mean, Quora sometimes seems like the easy thing, and sometimes it gets stuff right. Um, but lots of times I would skip, just mostly I would skip by it. Okay. Cost of production. I think take out pound for pound. Okay, because we added kilograms. So, okay, get that. Maybe Wikipedia has it. Wikipedia is fine. Okay. Got a lot of stuff on here. A lot of stuff that's also on our list. So that could be a thing. Uh, what about vanilla? Is vanilla on our list? It is. Brenda says vanilla is on our list, and vanilla is on our list. Okay. Vanilla extract can command anywhere from $250 to $600 per kilo. So our answer there is vanilla. So bottom of page 14, that blank is vanilla. Now, had that not worked from JC's suggestion, what I was going to encourage you to do is look up what is a cash crop. Like, Because I'm going to guess lots of us don't just know what a cash crop is. Okay? Cash crop is something that we grow to sell, not that we grow to eat ourselves. Right. So things like vanilla. You're not going to eat vanilla. Right. Like, tobacco is another cash crop. Um, you don't eat it, period. Right? And if you did try, like, I'm going to feed my family with tobacco, you'll kill everybody. Right? They will all die. Right? You will all get really, really sick, and then you will die. Right? Okay, so, I mean, you can look through your list of things in the item bank, and you can think about things that you would grow to sell and not to eat. Right? Vanilla. Right? Um, tobacco, wherever that is somewhere. There it is, tobacco. Coffee beans. Okay. You can't live by eating coffee beans. So work on those search terms. Talk through this with the people at your group of desks. It is going to be absolutely essential for you getting this done in time and without driving yourself mad. Google, hold on. 